count on. Good evening. A new homeless youth resource center called The U is getting ready to open its doors to the public. Now, the resource center isn't a shelter for teens to stay overnight, but it is a place to go during the day for homeless, runaway, or at-risk youth. Amanda Ketchledge is live now in the newsroom with that story. Amanda? Well, Ari, the center provides a variety of services for youth in the community, and we talked to homeless youth today about how these resources available will help them get back on the right track. This is the U, where youth under the age of 20 are allowed to stop by for a variety of resources. Most importantly, it's a place for them to feel safe. And for Sean Lee Beach, a 20-year-old homeless youth living out on the streets, he says this place will help him tremendously. I don't have any place to be, so I don't know. I'm always walking around town aimlessly looking for something to do or someone to hang out with. So a spot to go kick it would be awesome. And then shower, eat, wash up. Beach was kicked out of his home in California and was sent here to live in Reno with another relative. And he says that's where it all started. It was like five months into living out here is when uh, I started to get high. So meth actually is one of the main things to rest, to mess up my life, you know what I mean? But uh, recently I've had it under control. And Lynette Eddy wants to help young people struggling like Sean Lee. She is the founder of this organization and she hopes this place will guide youth in the right direction. The youth can come in and be in a positive, inspiring place with all the services available and just, just to have it their own place rather than out on the streets. The facility provides internet access and books to study, showers to clean up, laundry services, and even a place to grab some food and water. A lot of kids, they don't know how to better, better themselves. So, I mean, you just come on into the resource center or the U, the drop-in, and tell us what you need, and we'll do our best to get you there. And for Sean Lee and his friend Josh, they hope this resource center will not only benefit themselves, but other homeless youth out in the community, too. It's a good way to keep people's mind entertained instead of out here smoking pot or getting high. And the resource center isn't officially open yet for another couple weeks, but they have already had teens stop by for their services. And tomorrow night, the fundraiser at Atlantis is sold out. Over $30,000 earned from it will go towards their efforts to help homeless youth out in the community. Covering the story, Amanda Ketchelich, Channel 2 News.